Okay guys, I'm uh, just going to do a little um, review of the uh, latest figure that I've picked up. Um, it's from a company called uh, Dragons in Dreams. Um, some of you might have uh, heard of it, um, specialising in like World War II figures mainly. And uh, I um, purchased this from um, Eagle Eyes Action Station, um, which is a British retailer. Um, specialising uh, in 1.6, um, especially uh, uh, like vintage um, Action Man and G.I. Joe figures and stuff like that, um, hence the name, um, Eagle Eyes. Um, so that's um, pretty good. Um, the figure cost me, um, it was um, £100, something like that. Um, and it's um, uh, Winston Churchill, obviously. So I'm um, pretty nice, um, pretty iconic figure. Um, nice big box, I haven't opened it up yet. Um, uh, similar in design with most of the Dragon's boxes. We've just got the flap there, and then there's your backdrop. Doubles as a backdrop, the box, which is a pretty neat idea. So you've got um, like a Weather Junior Jack, um, which is quite a nice idea. So you can pose the figure behind that. Let's just look at the figure. Um, there's the standard pose, um, head sculpt, and then there's one um, for when he's um, chomping on a cigar. Uh, I've had a look at this um, figure already, so I'm pretty familiar with it. Um, there's um, a little uh, microphone with a little BBC on it, which is pretty neat. And um, his hat, um, obviously the iconic um, V for Victory um, hands, and there's his little cigar. And um, a change of clothing as well, so um, a nice, nice set all in all. So. Um, uh, just a little bit about um, the guy on the back, um, if you want to read into his history of course. Um, pretty iconic figure, um, especially in Britain. Um, I think he was voted um, the greatest Britain of all time in a, in a poll um, not that long ago. Um, obviously for his exploits in um, World War Two. So um, yeah, let's um, crack on with our opening figure up. And okay, so let's just uh, look at the um, back of the um, clam shelling. And, um, it's got just a couple of these um, little twisty ties, um, one um, holding that head in place and uh, one holding the cane in place. Um, so um, just take a note of that when you're um, getting these figures out because um, obviously you don't want to break them um, fresh out of the box. So um, just get Okay, so cool. I've just got the um, figure out of the box and um, just put one of his hats on him, um, the top hat that you get. Um, you also get another hat. Um, it's like a, um, I'm not sure actually, um, sort of like a fedora kind of style, um, kind of hat. Um, I'm not sure if um, Churchill wore um, uh, bowlers as well, bowler hats, um, so that would be nice to include that. But um, the, the two hats are um, like enough anyway for the time being. And then you get this um, little microphone, um, obviously he was well known for his um, famous speeches, so that's um, quite nice. Um, uh, got a little thing on there. Yeah, so you can um, manoeuvre it up and down um, to whatever height you want, it's pretty neat. And then you get the um, overcoat. Um, I'd say the um, tailoring on the clothes and uh, the um, trousers with the uh, suspenders and all that. Uh, there's his little cane that he had. Uh, there's the um, second head sculpt and as you can see I've shoved the cigar in there. It stays in there not too bad but um, might just want to um, put a tiny little bit of um, tack on the inside so it holds it in there better otherwise um, if you're posing it with a head sculpt and the scar um, it's liable to um, fall out from time to time and you get a little pack um, with two more cigars in there and obviously um, another hand um, with a pretty iconic um, uh, victory sign so that's all pretty neat um, I'd say uh, the head sculpt is um, pretty good really I mean um, you can't really um, fault it, I mean, um, maybe it could have been a tiny bit better, but I'd have to give it oh, probably about a 9 out of 10 really. Um, and a few years ago, like a 10 out of 10, but obviously the standard of these things have just um, crept up and up and up. Um, but it's, it's a great um, head sculpt, in my opinion. Um, uh, it looks like um, Churchill, pretty much. and. Um, it's no mistake that if you show this to someone and ask them who it was, um, it's not, no mistake that they'd be able to um, get it. Uh, I'd say the um, clothing is um, maybe the weakest part of this. Um, 
it, it does look kind of like cheap, uh, kind of like InDesign, and there's a few threads coming out, but that's um, normal for this thing. But yeah, I'd say I'd say the clothing is um, like nothing spectacular. Um, the hats are nice though. Hats are nicely made. Um, but yeah, the jacket and the um, secondary. Um, I don't know the. Uh, I don't know. If it doesn't feel too bad. Um, like the quality, but I don't know. It just um, doesn't really uh, like hang right on him and such like. Um, so I, I think they used um, too thick a material. Um, possibly because you like, use quite fine materials in one six. Otherwise, it just looks like all bulky and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, all in all, um, quite a good figure. Um, if you're into your uh, World War Two, um, a bit more of like a history buff than I am. I uh, know a bit more about Churchill than what I do, then um, yeah, sure, I I'd definitely um, pick him up if you can, um, definitely a top figure, and um, yeah, um, so my overall impressions are, um, it's a really good uh, figure, and uh, really worth um, holding on to and stuff like that, um, so I guess I'll, I'll pose him up um, uh, with the rest of my figures and stuff like that, um, I'll, have to, I'll actually put um, couple of figures um, side by side because I've got a Stalin and a Hitler um, so it'd be, uh, be a bit uh, silly not to pose them um, side by side although I don't think um, I don't think Churchill ever, ever um, met Hitler um, I could be wrong about that but I don't think they ever um, met each other um, I, uh, one on one really um, I know the other um, Prime Minister uh, Chamberlain the one before Churchill obviously met um, Hitler and stuff like that but I don't think um, Church or whoever did so let's just get those okay. figures so um got uh three of the main protagonists uh, during the second world war i guess uh so there's um my uh, adolf hitler figure from um third reich um it's a really um great figure that uh really hard to get hold of now um i think they've done a fantastic job on that guy obviously of um usually a controversial figure and whatnot but um um uh, if you just like, ignore the history and stuff like that and just focus on the figure, it's um, a fantastic bit of work. The clothing on it is um, fantastically um, well tailored and um, you get like a whole second outfit as well and um, the little uh, lectern as well, uh, the little podium thing that he um, stands in front of, um, so that's a really top notch figure from Third Right and then there's, um, uh, there's uh, my uh, Starling figure from King's Toys, uh, not a bad figure. Um, uh, about a little bit um, shabby really um, not a bad head sculpt and stuff like that but the body it's on is really shocking and, and the clothing um, there's not much to um, write home about at all um, but it's um, it's decent nevertheless and then um, latest guy uh, Churchill um, now with a uh, little V sign and uh, yeah just standing in the middle of them and stuff like that and yeah not a bad figure all in all and uh, as I say if you're into your World War Two and um, your action figures and stuff like that. Um, I think he's a must really. Um, uh, Dragon in Dreams have uh, made him as I said and um, yeah I think it would complement any um, any uh, collection of uh, World War II figures or action figures in general. So um, thanks for viewing that guys. Um, hope you enjoyed uh, the little uh, showcase of the figure. And yeah, oh, yeah I forgot to mention as well you get um, set of spectacles, um, they're not much um, to write home about, um, I haven't got any lens in them or anything, any glass, uh, they're just see through, but um, from a distance you'd never know, so um, that's a nice little touch as well, so yeah, cool.